Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of a Crazy Time Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. Yes. And we're playing Madden 21. Yeah, dude, it's game one, dude, again. We're on, we're doing a five-team spread, <laughs> muff fuzz. Now we're, the, wait. We're the Chiefs now, dude. We are the Chiefs. Yeah, so we're doing football team. I thought we, Okay. Oilers. Oh, boom. I Chiefs, got, got you. Desperados. And the Browns. And the Brizzies. Yeah, dude. What day are the Brizzies? Uh, Fridays, I think. Ooh, put them at the end of the strong, the anchor. anchor. Yeah, dude. We got to end the week strong, dude. With what we want. I think it's going to go Redskins, Oilers, Chiefs, Despies, Browns. Why are you making that hand motion when you say <laughs> that? Because I want it to be powerful. It wasn't. Those <laughs> are some weak strokes, man. Aww. Give me some. Like move something. Get the ah! I don't want to break things, dude. No, I, I want to. I want to feel it when you power pump me. I, wow. I mean, when you do a power pump towards my direct, don't power yeah, pump anywhere I'm not near me. Power pump anything to do with your life, <laughs> dude. This guy didn't play. He he opted out. They never, they never do play. He opted out, dude. Good for him. Yeah, dude, he said, I don't want to be at risk of life. <laughs> I wish I could opt out, but I'm, I'm broke. <laughs> yeah, they can't opt out they anything. opted out, they still made like six figures. Oh, sweet. That's good. Yeah, dude. Just sit at home and make money. Yeah, it's a sense. Have you ever I mean, been paid to just sit at home and make money? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, no. Have yes. I've never been on unemployment in my life. I've ne no, I've never been on... Oh, you mean like unemployment? Well, I don't know. I mean, that's just some way that you can sit around and make money for not doing anything. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's a that's a good throw. I've had to work for every dollar I've ever earned. Yeah, dude, me too. It's cool, though. I'm not mad about it. Work is work. Yeah, dude, I don't mind working. Mm -mm. I, mean, I, I, I wish I could get paid to not work. We all can't choose our... Uh, our friends, dude. <laughs> you can't choose your friends, friends. You can't pick your friend's nose either. That's you a fact. Know, you can't change the people around you, but you can change the people around you. I like that. Dude, I, I've heard that before, and I love it. <laughs> I love it. You can't change the people around you, but you can change the people around you. I love that. <laughs> Dude, it makes it makes me mad at the English language at the same time. I know, right? <laughs> but I do love it. And people were like, "Why is it so hard to learn English?" For that exact reason. Exactly. That's a very Japanese kind of like a uh, word pun too. Yeah, like a so great say. No, <laughs> not like that. I believe that Socrates was Chinese. Um, but we're gonna. Was he Chinese? No, he was not. He I was, was, he say, was Grecian. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought he was just like a... But yeah, they, they like wordplay like that. They do. Yeah. <laughs> like, my, my mom doesn't just sit around the house. She sits around the house. Dude. Sing, dude. <laughs> dude, I like things. Do you like things, too? Get it, things? You never play like the dozens, huh? The dozens? Yeah, the dirty dozens. That is familiar. That, mm, yeah, it should. It's an ancient, archaic term used to uh, basically a roasting, a friendly roasting, like where one person would just talk ish about the way you look, or your shoes, or your clothes, or your mom. Basically, your mama jokes going back and forth. I used to have some your mama books. No, 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 <laughs> I used to have a yo mom. It's like I can picture freaking little Joni Jr. <laughs> Your mom is so smelly. She looks and like just, a horticulture. And just crack it up in his bedroom. <laughs> Rosy cheeks. <laughs> laughing at the freaking Judy Bloom yo mama jokes. Freaking. <laughs> It's fine, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, look at this one. <laughs> it reminds Mom, me of look. you. And it says, it says your mama's so smelly, she must be a garbage woman. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, dear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your mother's an astronaut. Oh, my God, dude. 
You know, honestly, Jonas, our households were not too much different, except like I had to go to church all the time. I did not. I am very glad. <laughs> I am very happy that I did not have to go to the <clears throat> house of worship. Though, you know, it's like I, re- I, I could not tell you what we used to eat for dinner on a regular basis. But I just know it was not the we most healthy thing. We eat a lot of poor thing. white people food. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Like you know, like I feel like what different different um, spaghetti. No, dude. Like hot dogs and like you ate a lot of hot dogs. Hot dogs. Uh, ate a lot of uh, goulash, sloppy yeah. joes. Oh, sloppy joes were banging now. Uh, dude, I ate so many, I haven't even wanted one since I was a child. I mean, I don't want one, but now that you said it, like if one were presented, if somebody I just walked, I almost walk- like would refuse. You would ref- that's really? how, that's how like that's like wow. how much I like my mom made them. Oh wow! I'd rather not eat. <laughs> really, then eat a sloppy Joe at this point, uh, dude. It just, it just the thought of it turns my stomach. The taste of manwich in my mouth right now just makes me want to vomit. Like, it's like, it's like when you get drunk off liquor. It's like thinking about what manwich smells like makes me want to get sick. So the taste of manwich in my mouth is the wildest statement I've ever heard. <laughs> That is no, I don't know. It's probably not that bad. But oh my god, dude! I forgot it was called Manwich. To be honest, yeah, dude, it was. <laughs> Give me a Manwich. Yeah, that's got a whole different connotation oh, to dude, it. That like my mom like still wants to make it sometimes, dude. And I went home. My grandma's like, "We're having a family picket and made some Manwich," and I was like, "All these things." Should have told me I would have went to the store and bought some GD pizza. No, dude, I so I guess I must not have had it at, to to that much of a degree. But I would, I would, if somebody brought in a man which right now, I'd eat that man. I'm being a little facetious, but I, dude, I really don't want to. I, I, I get you, I get you. Like I do. I don't know if I have that aversion to a food. Like I guess like liver. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean that probably too. But like, it's funny that like. I don't really have aversion to foods, but, like, when I hear someone talk about Sloppy Joes, my stomach is just like, no. And I never even got sick off them. And you know what? If I ate one, it probably would taste good. It yeah, just doesn't dude, it, sound good at all. It's been around for millennia, decades, I should say, really. But it's been around for decades. Hell, yeah, it's good. It millennia. Good. It <laughs> the cavemen like. are like, <laughs> ook, ook, need me manwich. <laughs> we have invented the wheel and manwich. I just remember my mom telling me, like, like as I was older, being like, "Gonna make some sloppy joes." I doctored them up, though. Put some, and, like, she like put ketchup and mustard in them. Whoa! <laughs> oh <laughs> my like, god, dude! You, stop! I'm like, why are you doing this gross stuff? Don't. Oh, look at these boys trying to chase me down. Don't. Ain't no one gonna take me down. Dude. I showboated and I got tackled. You can say whatever you want to about your mom on this on this forum, but I will not be telling my. Anything about my mom putting ketchup and mustard, man, which that is just like she made her own sloppy Joe mix with ketchup and mustard. (laughs) Oh my god, it was gross, dude. Don't worry. Oh, she likes it. That is illegal, Jonas. That's That's against TOS. Put ketchup and mustard in hamburger before you cook it, and I'm like, Mm -mm. I just looked at her and she's like, It's good, and I'm like, No. No, no, no. Though, you know, honestly, 100%. I won't eat ketchup unless it's mixed with mustard. Okay. But I will eat mustard by itself. Okay. I do like the taste of ketchup and mustard. I salt my ketchup. It's already got salt in it. I salt it. It's already salted. Yeah, but it tastes better when you have more salt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I agree. But every- <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm not denying what you're saying. No, okay. I'm just saying that it's got sugar in it too. A lot of sugar. I don't, I and that's what I don't like about ketchup. Is it sweet? Yeah, yeah, dude. When you add the salt, it helps like mellow that ish out. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, like I. Um, I, I do not like ketchup though, by itself or on anything. The only thing I will eat ketchup with like French fries. Ugh. Um, not even. But that, I gotta dude. salt it. But the fries are salt. <laughs> dude, I'm a salt fiend. I mean, me too. I'm not denying. I'm just saying everything is um, salt. Yeah, dude. It's like a crackhead being like, "What? You want to put a little more crack in there?" Oh, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I don't know. Do you know any crackheads? I met one once. Did you? 
Yeah, dude. When I used to work at uh, the rent own place, yeah. there was a lady. I still remember her name. I won't say it for privacy's sake. Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't um, want to dox anybody. Uh, she, I had to go to her house to pick up a payment for her TV or computer or some, some ish. I don't know. And uh, and her house had a weird smell when I walked in. Mm-hmm. And it definitely was not marijuana. Oh, it was kind of like that. I don't, it was chemically that airy, tin foily. It was a, it was a chemically smell, and she and she had to write me a check for her payment. Uh-huh. And she literally she takes the check, she puts it on the table, she grabs a pen, and she goes. Can you fill this out for me? I'm too high. No. And she made me fill out her check for her because she was too high on crack. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Are you, are you she couldn't sure? fill out the check before she smoked crack. <laughs> like that was my what? thought. I'm like, I'm like, you couldn't write the check before you smoked crack, lady. Are, are you sure? Are you sure it was crack? I mean, it, I mean, I, oh, hey, whatever, dude. Fine. I hope she's safe today. <laughs> That's I, all I, I can I, really I, say. I doubt it. I doubt <laughs> Probably dead. <laughs> I doubt she's safe. <laughs> in fact, they found her in a ditch a week later. Uh, I lived in a home. Uh, this was like early, 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 early. And uh, I was dating a girl. Um, we will call this girl a uh, redhead. Okay. And then we're <laughs> going to call her ex-boyfriend Highlander. Oh, okay. Okay. Highlander's brother was a habitual drug user. Oh. Uh, and I remember. Tell me two names? Yeah. <laughs> and I remember he would go to work. He would get his check, and then it would all be gone, and then he wouldn't have money for rent. And I remember one day he asked me, hey, you guys want to smoke some some crack and I was like uh, no I don't want to smoke some crack <laughs> he's all you want to smoke you. some crack with me dude it'd be fun right dude? I was like nah I'm good on smoking crack thank you I'll, I'll pass it was funny I was like I'll drink with you sir but I'm not gonna smoke I know we're cool and all we've had some good conversations you know Right, right. We had some real good conversations. They didn't involve yeah. us doing crack together. Though. Yeah, I'm like as soon as you bring up crack to me, I'm just like, mm. now you're no longer my friend. Yeah, yeah. And then we both know our mutual acquaintance who has had issues with that as well. So I don't know. I just, I you know, I, just, I have a different relationship with with that. I just feel like it's, it's a touchy subject. Oh yeah, I mean because you know, as much as I don't dislike or like a person, I do not wish for them to get hooked on drugs. No. Nope. Well, I mean the, the thing that sucks is the town that we grew up. We knew a lot of people that were hooked on all sorts of different drugs. Right. Whether they were illegal drugs, prescription drugs, mm. like S- small town man, nothing to do. Yep. Having coitus. <laughs> Doing narcotics. Having a coitus is not illegal. Coitus, narcotics. Coitus is not illegal. And loud music. <laughs> and that's it. They were just, they were all, they're all hopped up on loud music and coitus. Funny enough, though, loud music and coitus are relatively healthy, healthy and normal uh, human behavior. Now you don't wear protection. What you abstinence mean? is the only form of protection. Oh, so now we're preaching abstinence on the channel now, huh? <laughs> Are we really going that route? <laughs> Are we going that route? We might as well just start making baby music. Baby music? Yeah, let's just do a, ba- let's just do a baby music Oh, he's doing a, he did a jumping bag, dude. He, was he like, did a jumping do? bag. <laughs> he did a jumping bag. baby music? I'm going to jump on your bag. No, you would not. <laughs> yeah, dude, we can just do like baby sharks, but like... Jonas Dynamite versions of it. Dino astonance. Do, 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 Don't dino. have sex. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Don't put your in a V. Just you and me. We will set you free. Here comes verse number two because it's Jonas. Control. Here it comes. He has more. <laughs> yeah, I know he has more. I have lots of songs. Here comes first two. Whoa, there's a refrain. There's a chorus. Out, 
<laughs> when I try to sit down and write bars, I can't. I can write this ish all day, though. <laughs> I mean, you can call this writing if you want. <laughs> it is writing. It's, it's, it is. It is magnifique. <laughs> you can call it writing. Oh my God, man. Yeah, but uh, yeah, baby music channel. Boom. Crazy town. Uh, kids bops. Crazy town kid bop. I like that. Yeah, dude, I can, I can, I can, I don't want to be a kid's channel. Though. You don't want to be a kid bopper? No, dude, I don't. You don't want to bop a kid? Dude, Netflix is really getting the ish about that Cuties movie. It's did even getting worse. Ted that? Cruz is coming down on it now. Did you see that ish? Man, it, it is kind of effed up, though. Did you see, there was a quote I saw by the guy who made the movie. Yeah. Um, he said. It was a woman, by the way. Oh, was it? Yes. I missed it. I can't believe I missed that. Yeah. Um, they said it was a long, grueling process casting for that movie. We we had to sit there and watch 650 young women audition for this, and we didn't find the lead actress till the very last hour. I'm like, you sat and watched 650 young girls dance for this movie. <sighs> So, but it was tough, dude. It was tough for them to do that. So this is this is a very touchy subject right here, Jonas. I watched a video that I saw on Reddit where a guy reviewed it, and he showed like some segments and uh, like a little bit of some of the scenes. Yeah, and it, touch base on this. I think on the podcast, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's 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 pretty bad, but it's mostly bad because of the the camera work. It's all like um, right, like low angles up kind of stuff, or like yes, the camera work, the camera work are not. It's just like it's a lot of like focusing on hips and just like just accentuating parts that you probably shouldn't accentuate. Like if you if like there's been movies I'm sure made about girls dance troops, yes. but they're not focused on the bodies of the girls dance yeah. troops. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it, the thing is, is that the the clothing worn is I don't feel like it's that much different from what you would see. Which I I don't know. I have a kind of an ill relationship with uh, like the little kids dancing around anyway because it's just kind of weird. Like dance moms and stuff. That ish always weird. Oh me yeah, out. that's just as creepy and weird, yeah. dude. And like child beauty pageant ish. They that always weird me out. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, all that stuff is weird. Teen Teen USA got rid of the swimsuit competition for like the same ideals yeah. you know yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there's no reason you should be praying girls under 18 around a bathing suits yeah. for any sort of competition the petition for that cuties movie to be removed is uh over 650,000 i think right now so well the person who made it got their money netflix bought it from them you know for the rights i mean they got paid <laughs> yeah um a black french woman actually was the director of it so uh, yeah, I don't uh, know. yeah. So. It's, uh, black French women can like kids too. <laughs> I mean, just saying. <laughs> it doesn't have to be creepy white old men. That, oh that... my god! All right, Jonas. On the next episode. <laughs> that is all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you already done that, this dude does Twitch stuff. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock. Uh, AM Central, that's TNT, D-I-N-O, and my G-H-T underscore Crazy Town at Twitch.tv. Uh, for Jones. Mm -hmm. Okay, John, the next one, we uh, are out there.